Hey everyone, AmpReparGuy.com, 203-892-4119. So today we are working on a Heathkit SP200. Needs a new meter. That's open. I'll add protection diodes. Placing the plate blocking cap. It's belonged to a smoker at some point, so a lot of nicotine buildup. Oil the fan, change the parasitic suppressors. The air variables look okay. Already has the power supply board in it. I'll change the grid loading resistors. Get rid of this soft start. That's not in there right. It's not needed. Has the soft key. I'll change the capacitors here. He wants an SO239 installed for the input connector, input RF connector. The output safety choke is damaged here, so I will replace that. The SO239 for the output is okay. You can see the rebuilding resistor is blown apart right here. So, okay, so I also replace the meter lamp bulb. Clean all the rotary switches with deoxy gold and the TR uh, relay with deoxy gold. So I'll be back. See you guys soon. Okay, so I'm, I'm back here with the completed SP200. I'm going to go over everything I did real quick. Needed a new meter. The old one was open, so I replaced it with a good used one. Replaced the meter lamp bulb. Already had the filter cap board installed. Got a brand new set of Pentalab tubes. Replaced the parasitic suppressor assemblies. I wound them. I always wind them and replace them. New plate blocking cap. New plate choke it had a different one in here, not the stock one, and it was damaged. Clean the rotary switches with deoxic gold, band switch, and the other switch that has the padding capacitance for 80. Clean the socket clips with deoxic gold, also compress them. Tighten the fan, it was loose and oiled it. So I'm going to turn it over and I'll show you the bottom. Be right back. Okay, right, so I'm back here with the bottom. I'm going to go over everything real quick. Place the safety choke, oil the fan, add the block so I could secure the B-positive wire, got rid of the soft start, and re-soldered and heat shrunk all the wires, zip tied it real nice, shortened the leads for the soft key, uh, touched up on solder joints on the board, touched up on solder joints over here, changed the electrolytic caps. This 33 ohm resistor for the bias circuit was actually detached. It was a different resistor. I ended up replacing it. It was also way out of tolerance, so I put a brand new one in there. Shorten this lead right here. Clean the rotary switch over here. And uh, touched up on some solder joints on the power switch. So, that's about it for the bottom. I will show you the back. Be right back. Okay, so, change the grid loading resistors. Change the mica cap. You always want to keep these leads as short as possible. One mica cap over here, one mica cap over there. Check this choke over here. Check the resistors over here to make sure they were within tolerance. Touched up on the solder joint over here for that soft key board. Clean the input rotary switch with deoxy gold. Added the SO239 for the input connector. So that's about it. If you need any amplifier repaired, please feel free to give me a call. My phone number is 203-892-4119. That's 203-892-4119. And my website is ampreparguide.com. Please like, share, and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. 73.